Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, blessed emerald diamond rainbow warriors of the new Lemuria rising. We have massive energetics flowing in as we complete the final few days of this intense month of June. We had a trinity of activations in the quantum field today as we finalize the energetics of the anchoring of 5D and beyond. Our local Solaris assists Gaia and all her children of the sun by releasing 17 C-class solar flares and another M-class maxing out at M1.2 at 1514 UTC. We had higher resonances appearing on the Schumann charts today, beginning at an amplitude of 25 Hz and rising to 39 Hz of fifth dimensional energetics anchoring into the crystalline core of Mother Earth. Pachamama also received a powerful activation today with a magnitude 5.8 earthquake in Russia at 2338 UTC. The pure innocence of your ascended heart center at one with God is flowing freely into this realm through your sacred vessel of light. We are being released from all time spirals and loops of suffering. All that remains hidden in the shadow self of the unconscious mind is being exposed to the light in this revelation to be healed, transformed, and transmuted in this now. All discordant energies and frequencies from all interference patterns are being resolved as all is being brought into the balance of the five elements and the harmony of the music of the spheres. On the wings of angels we do rise, as protectors and guardians of Terra Nova Gaia, our mothership 33 of our universal alliance of light. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful I am invocation to end all karmic contracts. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 24 degrees. 45 minutes Libra. The sun is at 6 degrees, 3 minutes Cancer. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 7 degrees Cancer. Two fairies, nature spirits, dancing on a moonlit night. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 25 degrees Libra. The sight of an autumn leaf brings to a pilgrim the sudden revelation of the mystery of life and death from astrologyweekly.com and from divine sis star of the light valerie a elster lots of support in the higher realms profound shifts unfolding memory bank upgrading source point and today from divine sis star of the light christina morichetti ascension is you becoming who you really are again your heart is the bridge between dimensions your job is to keep your heart open. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light Sophie Gregoire. Update. You have recently felt a misalignment that you had started to see earlier in time and perhaps repeatedly. Become a bigger no. There are endings and new beginnings in the air. Versions of you that you have outgrown. Going back to them would cost more to your energy than being brave enough to allow the new. You are being asked to carry a grander vision, to step up to a bigger version of yourself, to allow new and higher codes to get to the earthly plane through you. What you become a no to is a promise of another path for others too. Keep it up. You are breaking a shell one more time. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Terry Wade your message to you. You are the event you've been waiting for. 
Ascension comes in stages. It's a gradual DNA upgrade. We are currently in the preparation stages. The shift is a gradual higher state of consciousness. It is you that has the key. It is you who hold the codes and it's up to you to activate them. You decide your perception of your reality through the experiences you allow in. There is an intuitive knowing we are all born with and you must activate that by releasing all beliefs and fear. Fear is your worst enemy. The language we are all born with is light language. It holds the codes to your remembrances of your past, present, and future lives and all knowing. There is a task and a particular mission you are here at this time in our history to fulfill, and it's all in those codes. You must dismantle your programs and remember you are never alone. You are always being communicated with. We just need to pay attention. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. Update. Currently there is a massive transmuting occurring at this time, which involves some being divinely negated to become the energetic magnet to collect and reconcile a level of density from the current reality. This density is now being cleared by many to allow for the next upliftment of reality into a higher frequency. Love applied to any drama at this time will assist with a more rapid transmutation. Those not divinely negated assist your comrades by holding space of loving support without entering a lower density sympathetic mode. Any intense ongoing activation upon reality is occurring, and any lower density needs to be reconciled and transmuted here, for it cannot go forward into the further new. An indefinite period of a great influx of photonic light has begun and designed once again to purify the density layers. Those souls that are conduits of the light are utilizing this energetic influx in their divine applications to the maximum effect. Ripples and waves in reality, fluctuations, will be documented as the space-time continuum transitions forward. Love and Light, Rick Jewers And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Judith Kusel We need to remember to take very deep breaths in and out every now and again. We tend to forget to breathe deeply and to sometimes just ground ourselves and to connect with the very life breath itself again. It is this very life breath and open heart which is carrying us through this time. While Mother Earth assists us to not only absorb all the cosmic energy pouring in, but to ground ourselves in our soul calling and mission. Ascension in truth means for the soul to descend into Mother Earth and live your highest soul mastery. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Brother of the Light, Danny Neskovic We are entering the time of the everywhere prophesied permanent golden age of Shambhala, after the collapse of the Babylonian control matrix, where it will be everyone's last divine incarnation. The Babylonian control matrix was mistreated when humanity fell asleep, believed that they could be separate individuals, where the ego out of fear and wanting to control miscreated the city control matrix and money to keep all enslaved in the ego. Now as all awakened from the person or the ego, all of this miscreations have to go, and what God created will automatically return through us. For we were created by and are that God naturally creating Shambhala or God's divine will and plan. We are going through a radical change in perception and awareness. From Divine Sister of the Light, Catherine Emily. This world is sick due to its absence of the true God spark within. Nothing will fill your cup other than God's love and divine holy presence from the inside out. And when it does, your cuppeth will runneth over. Your inner union attracts your outer union. This is your I am truth and I am path. This is how I serve. 
I won't make sense to all unless they've got their hearts and souls cracked open. Mental peace or stillness will never exist without this divine flow opening and moving through us. When our will becomes His will and her heart, the anxiety stops, the depression, the drugs, the fixes, the noise, the distraction, the constant shame-fueled hunger, looking outside to fill your void, including outside Savior, to feel connected and whole, yet usually totally not accepting that he longs for inner love to heal his inner pain, because he has been programmed to look outside. Until your suffering finally leads you back to God, and in your surrender you say, God, I can't walk alone anymore, can you carry me? Surrender comes via the void. It will transform you when you tire of your self-abandonment and sacrificial suffering. I am here to serve and purpose divine twin unions inside and out and help the children of this world out of suffering back home to love. I am a vibration, a frequency. Not everyone will see me or hear me. That I accept, that I allow. Yet I will continue to speak my truth and shine my beacon. Only I am hold. So the right ones know where to find me. A magnet we become when we surrender our will to that of the divine power within us. My inner wounded masculine will still be rejecting God and Yeshua because he didn't want to be weak, passive, submissive, or surrender to anything bigger or better than him. So I choose not to use an image of Yeshua due to the abuse used through religions and the false gods we are still healing from here. Yet it is time to accept and it is time to remember our truth, our home, our I am. If this transmission helps you surrender more deeply today, share with someone you may feel or need it too. We are processing a lot and we all deserve love, not more abusive attacking judgment at this time. As Yeshua has told me years ago, all forgiveness is self-forgiveness. We can only ever truly forgive and love ourselves, not another. From Catherine Emily Elohim. Love. From Divine Sister of the Light Kirsty Elizabeth. Signs of the Sisters of the Rose. The Sisters of the Rose are those who are currently incarnated to be the frequency holders of a specific ancient secret, in fact, a lineage. This has been passed down through genealogy of family and ancestry from 2,000 years ago. The message has long been forgotten, but the current rapid movement of awakening that is peeling back layers of deeper knowing and lost wisdom is causing certain individuals to wake up to the pieces of a newly forming puzzle, which speaks to them directly through the psyche of the sacred allegiance pledged long ago by distant ancestors or previous incarnated lives on earth. This mystery is unraveling through its ability to connect those who hold the codes together within a sense of spiritual community. This community is felt as highly feminine in its divinity, although it is not beholden to only women. The sacred information is stored deeply within DNA, which is why the strong energies associated with 2023 are bringing it into the conscious awareness of those who have been involved in spiritual cleansing across the last four years. As with all angelic work, symbolism plays a huge part in imprinting narratives into the conscious mind. Coincidences and serendipitous timings also light the way to connection with fellow code holders. The most common signs have been those of the rose image, of which color is significant. Second to that are snakes which can also present as dragons. The legend of King Arthur and particularly Guinevere, along with the medieval knights and the holy grail or chalice. Crystals, stones, and unicorns may also feel significant. 144 coming in. 
Other forms of this message may be coming to you through the calling of the Holy Mother Mary, Queen of Angels, or via a feeling of a connection with certain saints, in particular Joan of Arc, and the images created of Marian apparitions, such as Guadalupe and Fatima, doves to fall into this category. For sensing both, the main element is flowing water. If any or all of this is resonating with you, especially at this time, you had better delve in deep, because you are carrying a beautiful secret and a most sacred legacy. Kirsty Elizabeth From Divine Sistar of the Light, Aurora Ray, A Transmission from the Galactic Federation Dear Ones, the Galactic Federation is a group of extraterrestrial civilizations existing outside of our Milky Way galaxy. These beings or groups possess advanced technologies that allow them to travel intergalactic distances. They are part of a federation comprising multiple races and their leader is known as the Supreme Commander. The federation works in conjunction with another group called the Ashtar Command. I'm delighted to share with you today an important message from the Galactic Federation. Dear Earthlings, we are the Galactic Federation. We come to you in peace, love, and concern for humanity. We wish to extend an invitation to those who are ready to join us on a very exciting adventure. This is an adventure that will take place in the higher realms of consciousness and that will be unlike anything you have ever experienced before. This is a journey into your own inner universe, one from which you will return as a fully conscious creator being. You will be imbued with wisdom, knowledge, talents, and abilities far beyond anything you can imagine or would ever want for yourself. We have been monitoring your planet for many years now, patiently waiting. We have watched as your world has become more and more out of balance. We have been witnessing the persistent deterioration of your health and mental well-being. We know you are deeply concerned about the present state of affairs on your planet. We understand that you feel powerless to do anything about it. We are here to tell you that you are not powerless. You each possess a tremendous amount of power and influence, but most of you are unaware of this fact. Many of you are even unaware that you exist. That is why we are taking this opportunity to make our presence known to you. We want you to understand how much we care about the earth and its people, including you. Join us in creating a new earth reality. We are here for one purpose only, and that is to assist humanity in creating a new reality for earth. You see, each life form on your planet is connected through an energy field known as Source Energy or God Goddess Energy. Each of you possess a unique aspect of God Goddess Energy. Have you ever wondered how the world works, or how is life created, or why is there so much suffering and injustice in the world? You are in the right place. Your galactic friends are eager to continue sharing all of the answers to your quarries with you. We shall be responded with love and respect for your free will as always. There is no need to worry about our presence here on earth because you are already surrounded by us. Our mission is to help the planet. We are here to assist the earth and its inhabitants from an energetic point of view so that you can free yourselves from this matrix of conditioning of which you have become prisoners. We are here to assist humanity in awakening from this deep slumber in which you have been held captive for thousands upon thousands of years by your own creations. We are here as a service to humanity for you to evolve into higher consciousness. We are here to assist you in creating a brighter future away from all darkness, suffering and pain, regardless of whether it appears on a global or personal level. We wish to invite everyone to participate in the creation of a new field of consciousness that we are calling Unity Consciousness. Unity Consciousness is based on the assumption that there are no differences between humans on Earth or anywhere else in the universe. All beings are equal parts of God-Goddess Consciousness. 
All beings were created from the same source of unconditional love, and all beings are thus brothers and sisters, inseparably linked through their connection to source. It is time to wake up and realize that humanity itself is facing a critical turning point. Your species is at a crossroads in its evolution as a race of beings on planet Earth. We come to you today to remind you that at this time there is much work taking place behind the scenes that affect your planet and all of its inhabitants. The Galactic Federation stands strongly in support of the light workers and all of those who are working to promote humanity's spiritual evolution on your planet. We are here for you, each one of you, and we send you our blessings and our love. We want to talk about important issues that concern your planet and the direction it is now taking. It is important that we do this now because if you continue along the path that you are currently following, it will inevitably lead to disaster for your world as well as for yourselves. We have asked you in the past not to give your power away so easily. Please take this message seriously. Humanity has given its power away to those who would seek to enslave it through many different forms of deception and manipulation. We've come to support you from the non-physical realms in your ascension process back to full consciousness. We are here, we see you, and we see the changes that are happening on your planet. The great change is for the better, but there is more to come. It will be in time. The whole of humanity is going through a shift, and this shift is what many people call ascension. Many people also call it the new earth or new reality, where the consciousness of all humanity rises to a higher level. Let us tell you that this process is already happening, and that it will continue until all humans are in full consciousness. You already know this to be true because you have seen the new energies yourself, how they affect you and how they change your life. We want to tell you that things will get much better than they are right now. If you do not believe us or anyone else who tells you these things, then please follow your own intuition. Look deep inside yourself and ask yourself if this makes sense to you and if it feels right. This doesn't mean that when we tell you these things, we are lying to you, but if this doesn't resonate with your heart and mind, then we ask for your forgiveness for having disturbed your peace. Humanity is at a crossroads. The critical mass of awakened individuals has reached a point of no return. The new paradigm is here, and it's up to you to decide your future. The consciousness shift is already in full effect, and the planetary liberation process is moving along its destined course. Your contribution at this time is to remind yourself that you are a sovereign, powerful being capable of manifesting whatever you desire. Instead of giving your power away, start using it to create your ideal reality. You have been given everything you need. It is up to you to decide whether to harvest the fruits of the present moment or keep waiting for something better on the horizon. You can be part of the solution or part of the problem. It is up to you. You are not helpless victims anymore. It's time for you to take action and become responsible for your planet and your fellow human beings. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation, from the thegalacticfederation.com. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. Solar Activity and Adjusted Timelines. Dear friends, as we move towards the month of July, our sun has been increasing its activity by sending out almost daily a few M-class flares. The solar activity eventually reaches the Earth and interacts at the molecular level with every one of us. Not all solar flares are Earth-directed, but even so, those of us who are energy sensitives can even sense solar activity as it takes place in the sun. Some physical symptoms are showing up in many people at this time, ear ringing, restless sleep, joint issues, feeling thirsty, eye problems, frequent urination, and a few more. 
Please remember that these are temporary and will subside as you relax and take care of yourself. As these solar winds interact with your energy fields, they work deeply at the physical level first by clearing and brushing off low frequency vibrations. This process is automatic, but the more aware you are, the more evolved your consciousness is. The effects may be stronger, at least for the time being. One positive side effect of this process is the adjustment of your reality and timelines. This post-solstice week is pushing us further into new directions and worldly and inner new points of views. As we clear and let go of unnecessary and limiting beliefs, these solar winds can take us into higher highways. At the same time, it is important for each of us to go within and understand what limiting aspects we need to let go at this moment. This will give you a renewed clarity as the new timelines begin to shape around you. Enjoy the process. We are truly in the midst of an alchemical human process. Much love. We are one from DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica. Leaders of light, visualize a world filled with love and awe, a place of unity and happiness, where manifestation is instant, a community of high vibrational beings, See us in unconditional harmony and love, a multidimensional wonderland. Focus on your heart and connect to us. Infinite being you are, together as one with all beings. Sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen, from KarenLithica.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Carolyn 144, God Code. Revelations are showing you what unhealthy habits are holding you back from success. Seeing and accepting this truth will open you up to many necessary changes and move toward the harvest and rewards that are ahead. You are protected to remove the seed point cause of what has been revealed. It may be connected to a father wound that has been playing out ancestrally for centuries. We have the opportunity to heal our own inner masculine this week so he can unite through love with your inner feminine. The Most High wants you to be free through this insight. Use your divine masculine power to set boundaries and honor your growth as a light worker. Come together and unify with your feminine to complete your ascension out of earth school and into the light body. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Colleen Lemma. The moon, ruler of our emotional fluctuations, is in the partnership sign of Libra, sign of the scales, all day Tuesday. First she makes an opposition to Chiron, ruler of past life soul wounds, which may bring up dilemmas with self versus other, situations that we are trying to balance. Next is an inconjunct to Uranus, planet of change and liberation, where we may need to make some adjustments to our sense of independence and our desire to break free of limiting circumstances. The moon then makes a positive sextile to Mars, the warrior, bringing opportunities to move forward into the energies of equality in our interactions with others. And finally, she ends the day with an inconjunct to Neptune, ruler of illusion and fantasy, which may bring us back to feelings of confusion regarding relationship matters. Stay balanced like the scales and weigh your options carefully. Blessings of love and light to all. From SacredSoulEmpowerment.com and today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury enters Cancer. Mercury square Ceres in Libra and sextile North Node in Taurus. The mind descends into the melting pot of emotional content stored deep in the psyche. Our thoughts turn to matters of home and family, history and belonging. Watch how memories return when life echoes the past happy, sad, and everything in between. Every experience you have ever had, every conversation, every book, 
Every fleeting thought is cataloged, stored, ready for access, sealed with an emotional lock and symbolic key. One pale scent, one fleeting reminder and the key turns, a line of remembrances tumbling out. Everything now is colored by feeling, rationale gives way to intuition. If we are stuck, we need to listen to our gut, yet sometimes we fight our instincts, seek to please, depend on someone else's validation of what we thought we knew. Trust yourself. Trust that first thought your soul remembers. Yes, it can be frustrating when mood infects focus, but sometimes we ignore what we feel for far too long. Let the psyche speak. Give it a name and a voice. Let others know what is going on for you. Meet with your support system, but choose your confidants carefully. Sometimes others are not in the right space for listening. Don't take it personally. If people are unavailable or unapproachable, give yourself a hug and speak out loud the words that you most need to hear. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 145, Red Lunar Serpent. Lunar is the name for the number two, and its keywords are polarize, challenge, and stabilize. The second day of any wave spell is all about identifying what stands in your way. The first day sets the agenda, and the second day looks at which obstacles need removing before any progress can be made. As John Lennon said, there are no problems, only solutions. Consider what prevents you from moving forward and sort it out. This number provides you with an opportunity every 13 days to address our issues head on. This is a great habit to form and so don't dread lunar days, but instead brace the chance to polarize your situation. Today is Red Serpent and it represents life force, instinct, and survival. The serpent is very sensual and a sensitive creature. He notices every little movement and uses his instincts to be aware of what's going on in the vicinity. Serpent teaches us to use our senses and pay attention. As it is a lunar day, you can use your senses to understand what issues in your life need addressing. Sometimes we over-intellectualize problems instead of using the senses we have. Be still, be aware, and like a serpent, strike out when the moment is right. Number two, days are always challenging, and they can push our buttons. The serpent, however, is very gracious in dealing with these issues. You may feel overwhelmed with sensitivity today, but just ride it out, because it takes a certain level of sensitivity sometimes to really understand what is going on in your head. Sort yourself out, and then any obstacles that need removing should be fairly straightforward. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Lunar Serpent, to Chik Chan, Keen 145, 27th of June 2023, Stabilizing Life Force, 27 6 2023 equal 967 equal 913 equal 94 equal 13 equal 4, 13 13 Cosmic Code, 4 4 New Earth. Day codes 27, power, leadership, command, harvest, nine endings, completion, destiny, grace, humanity, divinity, 13, goddess, cosmic consciousness, natural lore, four, form, structure, foundation, angelic, earth, month, year codes, six, heaven, Christ, family, harmony, fertility, 13, four, 20, the awakening, clear vision, 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength Protection. Keen 145 equal 10, Manifestation Leadership Code. A very powerful day to take the reins, to overcome your challenges, and arise victorious, setting a new course. Day 2 in the Yellow Seed Wave Spell of Flowering New Beginnings, Ripening, Opening to More Light, and Blossoming into Your Highest Potential. Today we are responding to the Earth's impulses in order to ground more vitality and life force into our physical reality, vessels, and creations. Tone of creation, lunar tone too in the physical realm. The lunar tone represents the sacred twins, cooperation, relationship, 
polarity of male and female and duality. Its action polarizes, power challenges, essence stabilizing. Yesterday we magnetized and attracted spiritual energy, and today we anchor that energy in our physical bodies and the body of Gaia. The lunar tone may also reveal challenges in order to recognize and release anything stopping us from expanding into our greatest potential and fully claiming our life force. A very empowering code today. Planetary service, we are also seeking to heal and balance the kundalini forces of Gaia today through her planetary chakra points and sacred sites, harmonizing her yang, plume serpent, quetzalcoatl, masculine line and yin, rainbow serpent, feminine ley lines that encircle the earth. The two planetary serpents are meeting and parting as they perform their sensual dance embracing as one at each union. Lake Titicaca and Bali, the planetary purification center. The lunar tone seeks to stabilize these polarized forces of Gaia, bringing greater harmony to our planet. Visualize the smooth and sensual connection of our two planetary serpents, bringing their much-needed combined harmonic energies through greater vitality and sustained life force pulsing through Uluru, our planetary power center, Gaia's meridians and planetary body, infusing the land with healing frequencies. It is done. And so, beloveds, may we receive great healing for our physical vessels today as we stand barefoot upon our rejuvenated Great Earth Mother, Nova Gaia, riding these portals and lunar openings for our ascent to greater and greater light. Today's question is how can I stabilize and ground more life force and vitality in order to heal my physical body and that of Gaia, ready to pursue my greatest passion on new earth. Divine blessings for the stabilization and healing of all polarized forces today. Onwards and upwards we fly. In la ketch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 145, Red Lunar Serpent. The mantra, the code for today is, I polarize in order to survive. Stabilizing instinct, I seal the store of life force. With the lunar tone of challenge, I am guided by the power of navigation. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. So if you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us to be able to continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can either make a monthly pledge or a one-time donation to the links at eaglelovecondor.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful invocation from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Jessica Woods. I am releasing all that is not in alignment with my greatest and highest good. I am choosing to be free. I am choosing an end to karma by forgiving everyone who has wronged me and asking forgiveness of all whom I have wronged in all dimensions on all timelines past, present, and future. I release all beliefs, persons, and situations that attempt to blind me to my wholeness and power in all dimensions, all timelines, past, present, and future. I am releasing all that distracts me from my life's purpose, as planned by my soul prior to this incarnation. I willingly let go of all that no longer serves my greatest and highest good in all dimensions, on all timelines, past, present, and future. 
I'm releasing all beliefs, persons, and situations that have prevented me from seeing the array of abundance and opportunities that continuously flow to me. I am ready to receive it now and allow all I desire to come to me. I accept control of the circumstances of my life, at the same time surrendering to your divine will. I gratefully receive and accept your guidance. There is nothing that can prevent me from moving forward. I claim my sovereignty, and so it was, is, and will always be. As it was done before, as it is now, for all eternity. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed last three days of this intense month of June as we continue our ascension through the portal of the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step, and keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.